And finally, let's do another graphing example of graphing a full rational function. Um, so first, right away, let's look for some zeros. Well, we should probably simplify this first. So let's do um, x squared remains over and just factor this thing out. So x plus 2, x minus 5. Actually, it would be x minus 2 and x minus 5. So then right away, we know that uh, zeros occur at x equals 0 because x squared is in the numerator. x squared equals 0, x equals 0. Uh, if we look for the y-intercepts, which means y equals 0, <clears throat> and looking for asymptotes vertically, vertical, there are 2 at x equals 2 and 5. You can see those terms right here, making the whole expression undefined. Uh, if we look for the horizontal, once again, we have x squared over x squared, which means 2 over 2 equals 1. So we have a horizontal asymptote at y equals 1. Checking for uh, some symmetry. There is no symmetry. All you have to do is plug in a negative x into the expression to see if it equals the original, which it does not. So no symmetry. <clears throat> so let's look at uh, the graph. So we have here the y-axis and the x-axis. And right away, we see that um, working backwards, there's <clears throat> asymptote at 2 vertically, and another one at 5, and another one at y equals 1. So now we do want to just plug in uh, some values to the function <clears throat> to see the basic behaviors in these regions, like right here, right here. So after plugging in, we see that the graph exhibits the following behavior. So let's look for some, let's look for some uh, zeros. So where does the function cross the x-axis? Well, we know it crosses at x equals 0. And what about the y-intercept at um, 0 as well? Well, let's back up for a second <coughs> and see that when y equals 1 during this uh, expression, it actually does have a value and crosses this uh, asymptote, sort of. So this part looks like this. So this particular rational function uh, sort of breaks this rule on the left side. And if we plug in a value for y equals 1, we will get uh, something like 10 over 9. So it's always important to plug in numbers to the original function to see the actual a look of the graph. So there you have uh, rational functions, uh, how to manipulate rational functions to look at the properties of its graph. And thanks for watching educator.com. We will see you in the next lecture.